If you're thinking about moving and you wanna learn about what everyday life is gonna be like in your new town, this is the place for you. On Open House, we sit down with local top producing real estate agents to help you find the best places to live in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you don't want buyer's remorse and you wanna find your dream town, we are here for you. So go ahead and book a free call with us and we'll help guide you to the area that is right for you. Now let's jump in and learn about your new home. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Open House. I'm Mike, and today we're going to be talking with Lei Yi, a local resident and expert in Vienna, Virginia. We're going to be covering everything from homes to entertainment. So, Lei, thank you for coming on the show today. Uh, to kick things off, um, tell me about your career in real estate. How long have you been a real estate agent? Um, I got licensed in Virginia since 2004, and I've been working since then. You've been doing it quite a while. Yes. So what uh, what made you get into real estate? I was a mortgage processor. Mm -hmm. And then because of the business, I see a lot of uh, realtor come in and out. And I love the way they, you know, performing. They have to go outside, see the people, very flexible work hours. Uh, at the time I was, you know, desk, in a desk job. So, mm -hmm. from, you know, 8.30 to 5.30, something like that, every day, sit in the same chair. I, I kind of want to get out of it. So I, that's, the, you know, my encouragement yeah. and get the license. You know, the, there's it actually kind of works out well for you because being a mortgage processor, you know a lot about the, the industry before you even started. Yes. You know, so that probably made the the transition from one to the other a little easier exactly yes because i know starting from the end pretty much you know yeah exactly so I have to deal with the sediment company home inspector you know through you that kinda, inspection yeah you Possibly. kind of work your way backwards almost that's right <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so being in vienna uh vienna is a, a pretty large area uh and and obviously in the time that you've been there it's probably grown quite a bit it is yes yeah. Vienna used to be, um, you know, quiet, small town with no ri high rise. Mm -hmm. And now we have a lot of commercial coming in. High rise are starting and roads are crowded. And when I was, my first kid went to elementary in Vienna also. Mm -hmm. And one that, one that time, the teacher to student ratio is pretty low. Right now, this teacher to student ratio is about, you know, 20 to 30% increase. That's definitely one of those things that, you know, being being that close to D.C., you know, yes. it's it's basically like like D.C. spreads out, you know, and the surrounding areas are just going to keep getting built up and built up and built up, you know. That's why, you know, people start moving out to uh, Arlington area. But mm -hmm. right now, Arlington is so unaffordable for most of the people. So they're yeah. just spreading out and. Uh, Vienna is one of the places because we have a we are very close to 66, 495, Route 50, 29, mm. and also the uh, you know Orange Line Metro, and so close a, to, uh, Dallas Toro also. Yeah, so a, you know even though you're you're outside of the city, you have very easy access. Yeah, pretty much everywhere. Yes. Yeah. What does the median home price look like in Vienna? Uh, I will say median home price is five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars. That, that's actually, you know, I I would have guessed higher just simply because of the the proximity to DC. But that's actually pretty reasonable for the area. Well, it is, you know, how to say it's hard to get it right now because nowadays not new, you know, constructions are here. Most of the constructions are luxury single family houses, which is about two million plus. Mm -hmm. So even though you're looking for it, you can find a condo, which is a, you know, I will say, you know, median is about seven to 800 because four to 500 is pretty much condo price. Yeah. Our houses are about seven, $800,000 right now. Yeah. So there, there's, 
you know, there's there's a wide variety of 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 types of houses in there, but you're obviously going to have to pay for what you really want. You yes. Know? And and that that just you know that that comes along with just like I said that that proximity to DC and and all of those areas you're going to see those prices. It just there's no way around it. You know? And I I would say that you know when you look at like the the economic side of Virginia, you probably I I feel like a, a you know 10, 15 years ago the majority of people were probably commuting into DC. Whereas now I feel like there's so many businesses and corporations and stuff kind of coming to that area. There's probably a lot more people working locally than there used to be. That's right. Because of the Tyson area, mm -hmm. there's a lot of business booming there. A yeah. lot of offices are moving in and people are walking around this area, you know, Oakton, Vienna, Fall Church, Fairfax. Those are you already, everybody go to Tyson pretty much. Yeah, because it's, you know, the places don't want to, to to necessarily be in dc but they want to be close enough yeah so. even after covid the situation a little bit changed though uh during covid a lot of officers you know working how to say work from home and most of the office are still practicing that so some of the offices are closing down in tyson area which is it's it's you know that's one of those good and bad situations it's it's good because let's be honest it you know it 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 kind of you don't you don't want that growth to just run rampant and we have a lot of mom and pop you know business mm -hmm. around here yeah it's they see a lot right which is good because sometimes you when you get into larger cities you you kind of lose that you know, you, you don't have that kind of connection with the area, with the businesses, with the people. But Vienna is one of those places where there is a lot of that mom and pop organization. There's a lot of mom and pop businesses. So you feel like when you go to these places, you're supporting your own local community. Yes. Yeah. All right. Another thing that I think, um, you know, a younger me didn't really understand, but now that I'm older, it makes sense. Um, a lot of people choose where they live based on schools and, and based on the type of education that their child is going to get. How does that look in Vienna? I think that is the main part also, because around here we have a good rating elementary school, middle school, and also the high schools. They are very yeah. good. And academically, the SAD schools and everything is quite high and teachers are very involved also the parents you know the most of the school PTA is very involved and active that make it parents aware of you know everything every single thing happening at school which is good because you you know as a parent you want that connection yes you know it, you like I, I I think when it comes to something like that just communication is so important uh, between between the teachers, between the parents, you know, even between the children, it, it's, it just, it, it helps facilitate a better experience for everybody. You know, about the crime rate, you know, this area is very safe. Yeah, Vienna is, is one of the lower crime rates in that area, which is, which is, again, it's always nice. That's, that's yeah. a nice, it's a nice little bonus when you move to an area and you see that. What about, so obviously business and the economics of the area are booming. So, um, and we talked a bit about the mom and pop shops. Do, is there a decent amount of restaurants, bars, things of that nature, the entertainment side? Uh, yes, I will say that we have every restaurant pretty much, you know, you can think of it. You know, Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, Italian, Mexican, American. Yeah. You know, pretty much whatever you want it, we are around here. <clears throat> Yeah, because it's such a, a, you know, it's such a diverse area. Yes, where, and also you, know, you can do a lot of activities, you know, a small um, gym, and also the uh, for kids, you know, karate, taekwondo, that kind of things. For the adult, you have a yoga class, meditation center, pretty much, you know, and also that we have a, a county recreation center. Mm -hmm. We have a gym over there and pool, heated swimming pool, indoor. So. It's twenty four seven. All you have to do is go there and do it. Yeah, <laughs> which uh, which sometimes is the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> it is the hardest part. Yeah. It's there, but you need to go get it. 
Yeah, and you know, it's nice having that type of area where you you have all of that stuff local, but because you're 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 so close to the city, I mean, anything is at your fingertips if you really want to, which is which is always nice to have that accessibility right around the corner. And also, the famous WOD Trail is right around here. Yeah. So, so you got your your physical activities when you need to get away, when you need to go get lost in the woods to forget about work for a little bit. Yes. And Norway Park is, you know, right around walking distance from here. Mm -hmm. All other parks are also around here. You just, you know, go and enjoy the nature. Yeah, that's one of those things that I think people kind of don't realize. Even if you if you live in the area, you kind of don't realize like how much cool stuff Virginia has in that department. You know, how many trails and the type of scenery you can get in mountains and you go a little further west and you've got wineries with beautiful sites you know and all of that stuff is it's right there it's in just in virginia you know yes for the entertainment we have bar we have music center mm -hmm. you know nightlife is not as crazy as dc <laughs> but we do have I mean, I think I think not as crazy as DC is why you live in Vienna. Yeah, <laughs> and also you know we are around uh, Halloween time, and every year they have a tradition that they shut down the one twenty three Maple Avenue mm. and do the uh, Halloween parade. Oh, that's cool! Everybody, uh, every local can you know participate in it. So police, fire, fire station, and schools band. And any group, you know, like most of the schools are participating in it also. Mm. And if you want to promote your business, you can do that also. And since, you know, Halloween is uh, near to the election time, so politicians also come and have a stage. So, so you can yell at them in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it's always it's always good when when you have events like that, even in a city of that size, that kind of gives you that that almost small town feel, that communal feel, like where you're out there with your neighbors is just always super enjoyable. Also, you know, for the shopping, you know, the Tyson is just a short drive there. It, it's it's right there, and all of that money you work so hard can be gone just like that. <laughs> One more, uh, one thing I don't like lately is because of that Tyson, you know, shopping traffic. Mm -hmm. Christmas time frame, it's pretty bad traffic around here. Yeah, I would imagine, you know, probably Thanksgiving and then like that month after is probably just kind of a nightmare for traffic around there. Because you have you have you have everyone around DC and Virginia trying to go to the same place. Uh, even Maryland people, you know, they came down to Tyson area for shopping, you know, for the New Year and Christmas. Oh yeah, it's definitely. As someone who lives in Maryland, it is it is the place you go. You know, it's like oh, let's go to Tyson's Corner, and then people who live near Tyson's Corner are like, why why don't you stay away from Tyson's Corner? <laughs> I think we kind of touched on everything. Yeah, nowadays in Vienna, what happened is most of the um, recently, right? We have a Marco Polo, which is a very famous, famous Mexican Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. which has been teared down. And also, the Jason is the um, another famous restaurant. Both of them are gone right now. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna make a like a mosaic center. Like you know, commercial and residential mixed properties. Mm -hmm. So they're building the new townhouses plus the shopping, commercial places. Yeah, I I really like those those kind of re commercial residential setups where you have your apartments and stuff, and then all of your first floor is all all shopping and food and all that stuff. So it's they end up being really cool places to live because. It's you're literally living right above where all the entertainment is. That's right. All you have to do is step down, and you got it. And yeah, because yeah. it's very it's very tough to get a, a DUI when all you have to do is hit an elevator button. You know. <laughs> 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 all right. So if you could, if you could give one piece of advice to someone looking to move into the Vienna area, what would you say that would be? 
Uh, Vienna area is, you know, welcoming everybody and suit for everybody. But from my point of view, I think it is a good place to raise a family. You know, first of all, it's a safe environment and schools ratings are really good. And most of the schools are, you know, in the neighborhood. And school bus are provided efficiently. So you don't need to worry that too much. Drawback right now is traffic is, you know, was them before, especially the Christmas time frame. But other than that, we are pretty good. And uh, entertainment, food, shopping, everything is right around the corner. And if you need to commute, highway, local road, buses, yeah. and also the trains are the very small, close by. And Dallas Airport mm -hmm. is about 10 to 15 minutes away from here because we are very close to the Toro also. Yeah. We just need to use it. You know, one thing that I like to kind of suggest to people uh, that I think people don't do often enough is if you're considering moving to an area, I think there's two really important things. One, I think take a vacation. You know, if you're thinking about an area, go spend four or five days there, rent an Airbnb, something like that. Really get to know the area for a little bit and see if it really fits for you. And I, I think a lot of people kind of jump into these decisions and don't really do a lot of like research, you know, and and I think taking a little vacation in an area gives you a good cross section to kind of say, like, is this the type of place I'm looking for? And I, I, I think kind of going in line with that, the, the second most important thing is to. To find a good real estate agent. It's one of those things you don't realize you re you you need it until you realize that you need it. And also, I have some clients who just come from out of state, but they don't want to buy it right away. Mm -hmm. What they do is first year is they run. Mm -hmm. So I have to suggest the location depends on what they want. Yeah, you know, if they want to close to the DC or close to the community community area or depends on the school districts or then we need to suggest that, okay, you should go this area, you should go that area. But most of the time is we just, you know, suggest and also, but I try to show them everywhere pretty much. So they, I show this area, that area. Finally, they are the decision maker. They have to make the decision and move in there. If they don't like it, well, they don't like it. Yeah. And most of the time they love it and they end up buying somewhere in the neighborhood yeah, yeah and, that, and that's another thing that that is that is a bonus of getting a, a you know a real estate agent who, who really knows the area and is, is trying to to actively work with you because you're going to end up much happier at the end of things you know exactly because i um another thing about realtor is most of the people they think oh i know about real estate i can buy myself is it it is true you can buy yourself but um, the thing is, if you want to, let's say, for example, you want to go to see a house you saw on the online, and you need to call the agent. That agent need to be available to show it to you, or that one, the agent is available, you have to be available also. But once you have a realtor, most of the time, we can accommodate them. Whatever they have available, we make it happen during the time frame, and also as much as we can. Otherwise, you need to make appointment for each of the house by yourself, and you might not be able to do one one after another. So you may need more time to explore the market. But with the realtor, you can explore about, I would say, two, three areas in a short time. Mm -hmm. three, four hours. Within three, four hours, you can explore that, you know, about three to four neighborhoods. Yeah, as someone, I I, I, I bought my first home when I was... 24 25 and i i tried to do it myself and then i realized very quickly you know it's like you you don't know what you don't know yep <laughs> and 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 a real estate agent knows all the things that you don't know which is very important in that in that process and once i got a real estate agent it, it was a lot smoother for me and another thing about is the law once you go through the real estate, you need to know the local laws and regulation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you don't know whether the violation in the house, 
what kind of document you're missing and during this transaction or at, after the transaction because of that missing document you might end up in big trouble yeah once the government finds out you're missing a document that's like christmas for them yes <laughs> Sometimes you might lose the house or, you know, because of the missing document, you might lose your NS money deposit. Yeah. So, yeah. And those are, those are just well, risks, risks you yeah. don't need to take, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Mr. Yi, thank you for taking the time to share your knowledge of Vienna with us today. I think we all learned a, a good bit about your city. Um, if you're interested in potentially buying in the Vienna, Virginia area, make sure to check out Mr. Yi's information in the link down below, and he'll facilitate your next home buying experience to really make things smooth and easy for you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.